Prediction points are the end result of an unorthodox form of predictive modeling developed to determine precise levels of intraday market gyrations. Traditional methods for determining reliable price values of support and resistance have proven to be unreliable. This is evident by the sheer volume of traders who fail by using such tools. These include things like pivot points and value areas made famous by market profile and even Fibonacci levels and many other traditional methods for determining support and resistance levels. These methods are not only overly used, but provide an inaccurate view of the market's reality, thereby giving traders a false sense of anticipated market movement. Using advanced methods to forecast anticipated movement, such as the techniques used to calculate prediction points, may give traders a unique edge over other market participants who simply neglect to look at the places in the market where the control actually takes place. Predictive modeling for some might be a new concept, so let me take 30 seconds and explain what it is. If you just go to wikipedia.org, you'll find that predictive modeling is the process by which a model is created or chosen to try to best predict the probability of an outcome. So what I did is I created a model, and I'm going to show you the results of that. Predictive analytics encompasses a variety of statistical techniques from modeling, machine learning, and data mining that analyze current and historical facts to make predictions about the future. So we're, what we're talking about here is the market. And what the market does, it doesn't matter what instrument you look at, whether that be stocks or bonds or futures, doesn't matter what it is. During the open market, price goes up and down all day long. It goes up, it drops back down, it goes back up. Some days it ends up, some days it ends down. And so what I wanted to know was, is there a way to, you know, with relatively high accuracy, project or using the words in this discipline, predict where these gyrations will be. In other words, these ups and downs, you know, where where is it going to turn? Or in other words, where are the higher probable levels that this is going to happen? If you Google this topic, you'll find hundreds of pages on predictive modeling and how it's used in so many different fields. If you get more specific at scholar.google.com, you'll get even more information on predictive modeling and predictive analytic techniques. There's companies, that's their whole focus. And what they do is they go into other companies and they use predictive modeling, predictive analytics, and they go in and analyze the company. And based upon the data that they collect, they can help them mitigate risk better. They can help them improve growth, thereby increasing their bottom line. SAS is all about this. And what this is, is a statistical analysis system, which is a software system for data analysis and report writing. And this information is used in a tremendous amount of areas, you know, to, you know, employee behavioral patterns and credit scoring and asset maintenance and all kinds of different fields. IBM has an entire section on predictive modeling. And here on their website, predictive model is the result of combining data and mathematics where learning can be translated into the creation of a mapping function between a set of input data fields and a response or target variables. So it, none of this probably makes sense to most of you, and none of it really matters. But this is the method used to calculate these highly reactive numbers. And if we look at our field of trading, you just go to DowJones.com, and they use predictive models for their high-frequency trading products. So what prediction points attempt to do is identify where the turning points will occur. This illustration shows the typical movement of the market and how prediction points react to market behavior. Prediction point usage is very broad. They can be extremely effective when used during economic announcements as shown here during the unemployment rate and non-farm employment change. Shorting off the upper prediction point or going long off the lower prediction point produced more than 10 points in either direction, totaling more than 20 points of potential profit. Prediction points also possess the opportunity for both short and long position trades throughout the day and may be used for both entries as well as exits. In some instances, prediction points will often reveal the entire trading range for the day as shown here. Prediction points are so effective, they can even be used during the overnight session as shown here. Prediction points are so accurate, you will often see price react to the tick of any given prediction point price. Prediction points are currently calculated for the E-mini S&P 500, the E-mini NASDAQ, the E-mini Dow, the Russell 2000 Index Mini Futures, and Crude Oil Futures. 
gain an unfair advantage over other traders and subscribe today.